This picture I'm going to do in pencil. What I did is I printed off the picture that I took in our backyard with a wood pile, with a tree, and I'm going to draw it out first, rough it out with a pencil. I'm going to leave out these parts in the background, but still get some of that shadowing, and I'll show you how to do that. So first, rough out your picture with a pencil. Now that I've got this drawn out, just kind of rough, what I'm going to do is come back in and start putting layers of shades in. And let's do the first layer in the background here. This is going to be gray. But if you look at this picture, there's some snow on the fence here. And what I'm going to do is put some of that snow in there, make this gray, leave that lighter, make this gray, put a layer here, because there's no white in the tree. And then these dark spots, I'm going to darken those in with a gray. And let's put that in right now. Now you can see that I put the first layer of gray down. And I'm going to put another layer of gray in here and start building up some of these details in the background. So it's just roughing it out right now. And I'm going to darken in this tree too. Now, the good thing about snow is that it's white and you've got dark areas, so that contrast is going to be what's really important to bring out. So leave your snow white or just barely, barely getting it shaded in. But you can see what I've done here is I put this background in here. Now I'm ready to work on this tree and these logs here and get them pretty dark. And if I were to think of it, that would be a 1 or a white. And some of these areas would almost be a 10, 8, or 9 right in here, and that's what's going to make this really come together, is that contrast. Now I'm going to switch to using this. This is a 6B pencil, or you can still use a number 2 pencil, but this is going to be really dark, and I'm going to go lightly with it and then darken as I go along. Now for the most part the tree is done and what I'm going to do is work on these logs in the foreground and darken those up. But you can see how that contrast, the light and the dark, really pull out the snow and the tree bark.
So now I've come in and put in all the details, worked my way to the front, and you can see that this contrast between, let's say it's a number 10 or number 9 being really dark or black against this white being a number 1 gives you the effect of snow. So build upon layer upon layer and do your best with what you see and have fun with it.